There's a saying that goes, when you try to dance like someone else, you will break your legs. This is especially true for China's space program, which has been trying to match the achievements of SpaceX for a very long time. Despite their efforts, China continues to face significant challenges, particularly with landing their rockets. Recently, a Chinese rocket crashed into a village, causing a major incident and raising serious safety concerns. China's strategy of copying every single thing from SpaceX has finally backfired. What exactly happened to this Chinese rocket, and why does China keep facing such problems with their rocket launches? We'll explore this in today's video. But before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the space industry. China's space journey is neither as developed nor as long-standing as that of the United States. The term space race originally comes from the Cold War era, referring to the intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. The space race between this two began in the mid-20th century, fueled by the geopolitical tensions of the Cold War. It continued through the 1970s and 1980s, with various missions and milestones from both nations. However, the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked the end of this intense competition. By this time, China did not have any notable space program and was not seen as a significant player in space exploration. China's space program gained momentum in the 21st century, and by the 2010s, China's space activities began to compete with the United States. Fast forward to today and China is now a huge competitor in the space industry, and the race is heating up with SpaceX leading the way with its reusable rockets. SpaceX has completed 356 launches, 319 landings, and 290 reflights. This is a remarkable achievement for a private company using reusable rockets. The Falcon 9, SpaceX's reusable rocket, has dominated the industry, making the U.S. a leader in the global space race. In the first quarter of this year, SpaceX launched 525 spacecraft into orbit, far outpacing China's launches, which were close to 30,000 kilograms. Now, since China wants to compete with SpaceX, they felt the need to speed up their progress to match SpaceX. This rush has led to disastrous outcomes. Recently, a Long March rocket launched two navigation satellites, but the boosters crashed into a village, causing significant damage. The boosters, using toxic hypergolic propellant, leaked dangerous chemicals like hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide, posing serious health risks to the residents. A video show what appears to be the first stage rocket booster of the Long March rocket tumbling uncontrollably over a village in southwest China. Local residents are seen covering their ears and running for shelter from the falling debris. Fortunately, there are no reports of injuries or significant damage to property. Unverified videos and images depict a gigantic cloud erupting at the crash site, with the booster seemingly lying next to a roadway. The first stage of the rocket can be seen leaking fuel, which is identified by its color as nitrogen tetroxide. This chemical compound is a strong oxidizing agent used in rocket propulsion, but can be fatally toxic. Nitrogen tetroxide poses serious health risks upon exposure. This is not the first time China has faced such issues. In December 2023, a Long March 3B rocket booster landed near a home in Hunan province. In 2002, a boy in Shanxi province was injured by falling debris from a satellite launch. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to shatter records with its various launch rockets. In 2023, SpaceX broke its own record again, achieving 98 launches which included 91 Falcon 9 launches and 5 Falcon Heavy launches. The biggest reason for SpaceX's fast launch cadence is the reusability of their rockets, particularly the Falcon 9 first-stage boosters. This revolutionary approach has significantly reduced the cost and time required for each launch. Reusability in SpaceX's rockets began with the Falcon 9, which was designed from the outset to be partially reusable. The first successful landing of a Falcon 9 booster occurred on December 21, 2015. Since then, SpaceX has refined its reusability technology. The Falcon 9 Block 5, the latest version of the rocket, is designed for rapid reuse with minimal refurbishment. 
Each booster can be flown up to 10 times with only minor maintenance and up to 100 times with more significant refurbishment. The record for the most flights by a single booster is currently held by B-1051, which has flown 15 times. The company has also set new records for turnaround times. For instance, a recent Falcon 9 mission achieved the fastest drone ship turnaround to date, with the booster recovery ship a shortfall of Gravitas turning around in just over three days. The cost savings from reusability are substantial. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell has stated that reusing the first stage can reduce launch costs by up to 30%. Given that the list price of a Falcon 9 launch is about $62 million, this translates to savings of approximately $18.6 million per launch. If SpaceX passes these savings to its customers, the cost per launch could be reduced to about $43.4 million. With over 300 successful booster recoveries, these savings add up significantly. For example, if SpaceX saves $18.6 million per launch on 300 launches, the total savings would be around $5.5 billion. The ability to quickly refurbish and reuse boosters allows SpaceX to shorten the turnaround time between launches. This capability has enabled them to achieve an unprecedented launch cadence, sometimes launching rockets just days apart. The Falcon 9 rocket itself has evolved through multiple versions, each improving on the previous one. The current iteration, Falcon 9 Block 5, is designed for rapid reusability and has flown as many as 21 flights with a single booster. This version of the rocket can carry up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit and up to 8,300 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit, making it one of the most reliable rockets in operation today. In just the first half of 2024, SpaceX completed 57 Falcon 9 missions. However, it's not only the Falcon 9 that is achieving new milestones. SpaceX is making even more progress with their Starship rocket. The Starship program saw significant developments in 2023 with several key orbital launch tests. The first orbital test flight of Starship took place in April 2023, although it ended prematurely due to an issue with the vehicle's main engines. Despite this setback, the data collected from the flight provided invaluable insights that informed subsequent tests. The fifth test flight of SpaceX's Starship is scheduled to take place on July 31, 2024. This mission, known as Integrated Flight Test 5, will involve Ship 30 and Booster 12. This flight will aim to further test and refine the capabilities demonstrated in previous missions, including an ambitious attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster using the launch tower, a method known as the Mechazilla arms. SpaceX's Starlink project has also continued its rapid expansion. By mid-2024, over 6,000 Starlink satellites were active in low Earth orbit, with more being added regularly. In June alone, multiple Starlink missions have been launched, adding dozens of new satellites to the constellation. This continuous deployment supports SpaceX's vision of providing global high-speed internet coverage, especially in remote areas. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.